food for thought. Rennell and Dion tagged along after their father at the grocery store. Rennell was in charge of watching her excitable little brother. Her father did not want him knocking things over or wandering off in the busy store. With cans stacked almost ceiling high and walls of boxes blocking her view, it was not an easy task. Dad, hey dad, Dion said as he tugged on his father's sweater. Can we buy something good to eat too? Sure, his father mumbled as he carefully inspected the label on a box of cereal. Just be sure it's healthy for you. Yay, Dion cheered. Almost immediately, he pulled a box of cheesy potato doodles from the middle of a stack. Rennell dove to keep the top boxes from tumbling over. Then she looked at Dion. Don't you remember the time you ate almost a whole bag of those at Sam's birthday party? They made you sick, she reminded him. Oh, right, Dion spoke thoughtfully. He handed the box to Rennell, who replaced it lightly on top of the others. In the next lane, Dion spotted bags of crunchy cracker sticks piled in a pyramid. This time, just lifting the top bag caused the others to begin sliding downward on the slippery slope. Rennell jumped into action and stopped the slide. Now it was her turn to recall an unpleasant memory. I ate those once, she told Dion. They're so salty, and they made me really thirsty. I had to drink a million glasses of water afterward. Oh, Dion said. He handed the bag to Rennell, who didn't even try to put it atop the others. Instead, she leaned it on the side of the pile. Then Dion's eyes widened when he saw the frozen food section. He darted over to it, almost knocking into a woman in her cart. Juicy paparoos! Juicy paparoos! I saw them on TV! I want them! Dion shouted. Rennell took a carton out of the freezer and read the label to Dion. The very first ingredient is sugar. In fact, juicy paparoos are nothing but sugar, water, and food coloring, said Rennell. Do you remember the last time you went to the dentist? You had to have a cavity filled. You want to go through that again? No, Dion said. Then Rennell noticed the fruit section nearby. Bunches of plump red grapes caught her eye. How about some grapes instead? They're naturally sweet and juicy too, Rennell suggested. Great, said Dion. Phew, thought Rennell.